Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How was your day? It's been all right. What about yours? <laughs> I, I, I only am. wish that the people don't try to make the things harder just because they could. <laughs> Well, I have but... some I have some students that their parents uh, fill out a format in order for Meduca to make a list and that list they send them to Odilo. Odilo creates the user and the and the passwords. But when they do that they put someone else's cell phone. And when they communicate with me, they use another cell phone. So, uh, and I have to be correct. Those cell phones, each time they wanted to communicate with me. And sometimes they communicate with me with three different cell phones. And I had to introduce them because every time I had a chat with them, I had to make a a, a screen, uh, a print screen, and put it as uh, evidence that I am, um, I am uh, responding to those those people. But if they never use the same cell phone that I already have in my contacts, then the name doesn't appear. They are something. <laughs> Oh my God. And I have 360 students. And each of them made that, imagine. But today, finally, I leave my messages at zero because sometimes I have 600 messages without responding. <laughs> but now I have zero. So I finally answer all the messages. <laughs> oh my God. But that's work. I wanted to work and I'm, I am working now. <laughs> oh. But I wish they could follow advice, uh, the, the instructions because I made a group with all the students, like with you. And they get out of the group. And then when I when I see that they get out of the group, I send a message because I wanted to know what happened because I had to report it to Meduca. Because it's is we are dealing with the Ministry of Education. So we have to say everything, what is happening. And if they get out of the group, uh, I, I have to report it and to say why. And when I write, when I write to them asking why they, they live, I, I am not asking them to get in. I'm just asking why they live. And then they say, no, we are there in the group. We are participating. And I say, I don't need to lie. And I even put the date when they left. And then when they say that I am telling not the truth, I take a, a screenshot and then I add it to the message and I put with highlight when they left the group. And then when they finally see that I know that they left, then they say, oh, leave it that way. <laughs> but they think that I'm just 
telling something because I want to tell it. But I have proof. I'm very organized on my job. So that's why I can work uh, faster than other other of my colleagues because I'm very I have everything since the beginning. If they need any proof, here it is. Because I, I like to be efficient on what I am doing. I also give some advice even to my mother when she was working with, you know, my mother worked for Alexandra Tinoco, the one that is the, the Foreign Years Affairs Minister. Um, I told my mother, record everything that she says to you. Because sometimes she says something and at the end she wanted another thing. And then I say, record everything. And I gave my mother my, my recording because I have one that uh, like um, a reporter. Uh, to to record my my classes at the university, and I gave it to her when she was working for her, and thank God I did that with her because um, Alexandra's father say something, asked for something, and when he was asking my mother for the report, she gave him another report. And then the the, uh, the the guy tell her, but this is not what I asked for. And then my mother said, you just listen to this. My mother didn't say anything. Just listen to this. And she record she placed the recording where Alexandra Tinoco was giving her another another asking for another thing. And then the man stays uh, in silence because my mother showed that it was not her that makes the decision but her 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 uh, his daughter and my mother told them that she didn't want to continue working for them because uh, they had to each of them has to talk to each other and have a goal in mind because uh, she cannot work with somebody that one say one thing and the other say another thing and at the end she, she didn't know what to do. But that's life. And then and when it happened that teacher recent, recently that 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 situation no no mm -hmm. it was when when alexandra tinoco had a foundation that it was called Fundacal, I think, Funda I Salva, one that that one that that works with with people that have problems with drugs or something like that, but yeah. uh, they they were working with the uh, uh, Minet with Ministerio de Educación, yeah. uh, doing um, what they call uh, escuelas diez, algo así, la escuela diez, algo así se llamaba. Yeah, my yeah. mother knew all the country because she has to go to the last school there at La Union <laughs> and to 
every every little school everywhere in the, in, in in El Salvador, my mother knew all the, all the little towns in El Salvador. And sometimes she has to stay in San Miguel because yeah. they they go to different places at Oriente. Yeah. Okay. But oh. it, it was a nice job. I worked for a long time for the Ministerio de Educación too. So ah, I was really? a, Maybe yeah. you know my mother. Yeah, she, uh, maybe. She maybe. Used to be... I, I was, in, I, was in, in, I was the manager of education in in Santa Ana City for uh, about uh, uh, 50, 15, 15 years, more or less. Maybe you know my mother. My mother used to be the the technician on the uh, Ubilfredo Panameño. Oh yeah. So Ubilfredo. she was the one that made his job. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But the man was very intelligent because when they had to do something, she made the the whole project. Yeah. And when they were on their way. Uh, he make her read. Uh, he don't even read it. He doesn't even read it. He made her read it for him three times. And when he gets to the place, he already know all the project. Like he, oh. if he was doing it. <laughs> oh. Oh. But the one who made the project is my mother. My mother was Maria Marta Cornejo. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it sounds the name. It sounds for me. Yes, yeah. she, she 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 works several years for Ubifredo Panameño. When when they have all the central area, yeah, eight, eight, there were eight eight departments under the central area control. Yeah, you you were in in Occidente. And yes, and and there were another one for for Oriente, but the central area has eight departments. Yeah, yeah, and I were uh, I was a a, a but partner. my mother, my mother was the one in charge when they made with Poma the 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 orthography. Yeah. Term. So yeah. my mother was the one in charge for it. Maybe that's why you remember her. Because yeah. for, for that yeah. time, uh, even when we are the central area, she takes care of all the country. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember she. Uh, mm -hmm. Once in a year, we, we have a meeting in Camino Real Hotel with Thomas family. <sighs> In it was Don Ricardo. He he was the yes. The, he the, he was the one who who who, who pushed that project. Yeah. He likes to work for education. But you know it was a it was a, a really nice project. So yes. many students is improve their skills in in orthography. Yes. And, and that's what that was a very good for education in our country. Yes. And the, the year when my mother was in charge of it, uh, they, they gave an amount of money for all the children to get into the conference. Oh. And I told my mother, mom, why are you giving the same amount to all the children? I guess that is not, not correct because uh, some children that come from La Unión, from San Miguel, they have to be here even mm -hmm. a day before. Yeah. And and they had to take at least two or three uh, okay. buses, no, and one of them is in the departamental. Yeah. So you don't you, you cannot no, give them the same amount. You cannot give them the same amount. Mm, and yeah. then uh, I made the math with her, and we put in the envelopes. For the ones that were farther, uh, more than the ones that were in San Salvador. And we used the exact amount complete, but 
with different uh, according to what how much they had to spend in order to be here for the contest so it was more and when she presented it to the to the man he said wow you were right it is not the same to go from Sacamil to where the contest will be that they can even go walking <laughs> than coming from La Unión. Okay. So and, and and Don Ricardo Poma asked my mother to work for him on on daily basis, but my mother said no because my brother used to work for them. And he say it's not good that both uh, of us work for the same company. But I say, well, you should take it, mother, because one thing is my brother who works for engineering, and another thing is you that will work for projects in education. You don't have to meet that. And they already know that my, my mother was my brother's mother. So, and they are offering the, the job. Is the problem not ours? <laughs> okay, what a story. I just made up a story for you. Okay, this is the last class of what a story. Um, to raise new questions, new possibilities, to regard all problems from a new angle requires creativity, imagination, and marks real advance in science. Albert Einstein. Okay. That means that you have to focus a problem from different perspectives in order to get a solution. What do you think about it? You see, new questions, new possibilities to all problems requires creativity, imagination, and marks a real advance in science. I guess that it's not just in science, but on daily life. Teacher, uh, yeah. at the university, they, 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 give, they gave me a subject that was called lo, lo, proportional lo, logical, logical propositional. That, uh -huh. that to see different that i guess that that is something that comes directly from philosophy yes the logic uh -huh. as i told you philosophy was originally the mother of all the science the True. Fact, uh, uh, science like math and science and the other science like social and humanistic okay but then they separate all of them and now math and science thinks that they don't have anything to do with humanistic and that separation is very very bad for the students because uh, you cannot work with math if you don't work with logic. Yes. Okay. Now, that's why it's because to be, some people, uh, some people laugh at people like me that likes to know about everything 
because they say that we have to specialize. But I prefer to be like myself because I can talk with anybody about any, any subject. I can talk to people who is specialized in fishing, even though I am an English teacher, because I like to read about everything. And that's why I can propose a project on fishing to a specialized people that knows a lot about fishing, but in the world, they never have a focus on fishing on the way I was asking for the project. And the man said, if this project is developed, we are going 20 years ahead of what is working on other countries in the world. I am only an English teacher. <laughs> That's good. But to be creative, you don't need to be a scientist. Okay. Yeah. That's why I want to be. Um, I want to be um, congresswoman in El Salvador. Good. But I want to do what is has to be done. I want to listen to my people and according to what they need, create the law. Because sometimes the people just create the law and they try the people to get into the law and they don't create a law that will help the people. It's not that way. Okay, past perfect affirmative and negative statement. Remember that we already have seen uh, the past perfect and now we are going to focus on the affirmative and negative statements. They call it positive and negative statements. But for me, it is affirmative and negative statements because positive is uh, something can be written in negative statement and being a positive thought. So one thing is positive and another thing is affirmative. So I prefer to call it affirmative rather than positive, okay? Now, use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. This is a past event and this is a period or a past event as well. So we use past perfect for this, okay? Something that happened before a past event, okay? Remember that we also have a present perfect, which is a past tense also, but with a period of time that is not state. O sea, el presente perfecto es, se, se usa para hablar de un periodo de tiempo que no se ha determinado, pero se sabe que ya sucedió. O sea, algo que ya pasó, pero no se sabe en un tiempo indeterminado. Por ejemplo, el pasado se ocupa con un tiempo determinado. Por eso, digamos, yo puedo decir, I went to my child's school early in the morning. O sea, ya se sabe cuándo sucedió, entonces eso es pasado, simple. Pero yo puedo decir, I have gone to my child's school. He ido. Al, al colegio de mi, de, mi, de mi hijo, pero no les digo cuándo. Puede ser hoy en la mañana, puede haber sido ayer, puede haber sido a principio de año. O sea, he ido, pero no les digo cuándo. ¿Se entiende la diferencia? Cuando usted 
dice cuando sucedía algo, ese es pasado simple. Cuando usted ya se sabe que es algo que ya pasó, pero usted no dice el tiempo, ese es presente perfecto. Y en el caso del pasado perfecto es cuando hay un periodo de tiempo o un evento que sucedió antes de un evento pasado. Bueno, entonces esos son los usos. Ayer también les expliqué que en, en el caso de los perfectos ocupan el auxiliar desde el afirmativo. En cambio, los, los tiempos simples ocupan el auxiliar solamente para hacer los negativos y los interrogativos. Entonces hoy vamos a ver la diferencia. Now here, uh, this is the formula, okay? To make affirmative statements in past perfect. We had the subject, then the auxiliar had, had, not has, had, and the past participle. If you use have, then it's present perfect, not past perfect, okay? That's the difference. And then we have the complement, okay? Then past tense, so verb have, the past participle and the complement. They had written some essay. They had written some essay. She had gone swimming. She had gone swimming. Someone had stolen my wallet. Someone had stolen my wallet. Now, repeat after me. They had written some essay. They, they had, written had written some essay. She had gone swimming. She, she had, had gone swimming. swimming. Someone had stolen my wallet. Someone, Someone had stolen, stolen my wallet. wallet. Okay. Uh, if you notice, we have the auxiliary here in, in affirmative. Okay. We have the, the auxiliary had in affirmative. Yes. To make these statements negative, we just add to the auxiliary not. Then we may say they hadn't or they had not. It's the same. They hadn't written some essay. Repeat. They, 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 they hadn't written some essay. They had not gone. No, she had not gone swimming. She, she had, had not had gone, gone swimming. swimming. Yeah. swimming. Someone hadn't stolen my wallet. Someone, Someone has stolen, stolen my wallet. wallet. Okay. This is what you, we just have done. Aquí está lo que acabamos de hacer. Y aquí está este, la, la fórmula. Aquí les agregué otro. I hadn't finished my work. I hadn't finished my work. So I couldn't leave work at that time. So, so I couldn't leave work at that time. At that time. Okay. Then we have the past perfect in question. To do that, we have yes no questions and we have WH questions. Remember that yes, no question is the question that you may answer yes or no. And the WH question is the information question. You need to give information when they make you a WH question. And for the yes, no question, we have uh, the auxiliary, the subject, the past participle, and the complement. And for WH questions, we have the WH word, 
had subject, past participle, and complex. And I don't remember, no, I, I haven't told you this, but for a WH question, you need a base that is the yes no question. And the yes no question is the same interrogative question. We used to study affirmative, negative, and interrogative. The, the interrogative uh, statements are uh, the ones that are just no questions. And they serve as a base for the WH question. For example, if I say, um, I had studied English at school. Then uh, you can make WH questions with that. I can say, uh, why had you studied English at school? ¿Por qué estudiaste el inglés? O has estudiado el inglés. Uh, puedo decir, what you had studied at school. ¿Qué es lo que estudiaste en la escuela? Entonces puedo decir, estudié inglés en la escuela o puedo preguntar eh, how how often had you studied English at school qué tan seguido estudiabas inglés en la escuela verdad y así verdad solo cambiando la wh word yo estoy haciendo diferentes preguntas con la misma base este, ya les he dado a ustedes eh, cuáles son las WH words. O ya las saben ustedes. Yes. No, por ahí supongo, eh, but, ¿Para, uh, qué se usa, ¿Para qué se usa cada una y todo eso ya lo saben? Um, porque porque it, si no se los consigo, yo lo tengo. They are why, where, when, and what, ¿Sí? ¿no? Ajá. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ustedes ya la saben. No, yes. no se las consigo. Yes, teacher. ¿Cuándo ocupamos, ¿Cuándo ocupamos when? When es adverbio de lugar. ¿Cuándo? When, 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 W, A, E, N. using time. Cuando queremos averiguar sobre tiempo, o sea, when. Y when, play. When. When you need to know about place. When you know to know about the place, where, and why, when you are asking for a reason. Yes. Okay. And when you answer a why question, you have to use because. Cuando usted responde una why question, tiene que contestarla con because. O sea, no, por no. qué. O sea, por qué tal cosa, por qué, ¿verdad? Because. And what is like a general? ¿Qué? And how? Esa es de las más eh, cambiantes. Porque puede ser how much? ¿Qué tanto? How many? ¿Cuántos? How far? ¿Qué tan lejos? How often? ¿Qué tan seguido? Eh, how, how, long, long, how long? ¿Qué tan, lar qué tan prolongado? How old? También, qué tan, qué tan viejo. It, it, it is very how much? How much? flexible. How are you? And, uh -huh. and then we also have uh, which. O sea, cuál. Cuando están uh, haciendo lo que escoja. Which one do you prefer? Pear or an apple? ¿Verdad? Entonces, which one? Y está también eh, who, es para saber quién, o sea, quién. Y whose es de quién. Esa es W-H-O-S-E, whose, de quién. Cuando queremos saber posesión. Digamos, veo un carro por allá, whose car is that? ¿De quién es ese carro? 
¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué más? Solo eso, solo son la generalidad. Now. And repeat after me. Have you studied English before taking this class? Where have you studied English before taking this class? Where have you studied English before taking this class? Okay, nos mandan a la plataforma, yo creo que aquí terminamos. A ver. Pero tengo los verbos porque vamos a hacer que ustedes elaboren sus propias oraciones o la lista de verbos que yo les di. Como ahí está hasta lo que significa cada verbo. Vamos a hacer eso. Van a ser oraciones afirmativas, negativas, interrogativas. Y vamos a, eh, le voy a dar tiempo de que las hagan y después nos vamos a ir a los break cup rooms y este, en grupos como, quiero ver, de tres creo que salen bien, somos 26, sí, este, ustedes van a, digamos, usted, uno de ustedes va a decir una oración en afirmativo y le va a pedir al otro que la haga en negativo ¿sí? y ese otro le va a pedir a alguien más que haga de sus oraciones ya sea en afirmativo o en interrogativo ok se entendió cada quien de ustedes van a hacer por lo menos dos sets de oraciones o sea, van a agarrar dos verbos diferentes y van a hacer afirmativa, negativa, interrogativa. Y cuando usted diga su oración, le va a pedir a uno de sus compañeros que se la haga este, en negativa o en interrogativa. O prefieren que lo trabajemos todos juntos aquí. No. Yes. 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 Mejor todos juntos. Bye. Pero trabajen todos porque yo, yo, algunas veces solo tres gente me contestan y yo quiero que todos participemos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, de, los, de las cosas, somos que 26 gente y solo me han llegado como siete trabajos, ¿verdad? Yo sé que están trabajando, yo sé que están estudiando, que tienen otras cosas que hacer pero también tienen que practicar, ¿ok? Si no, les va a tocar leer el trabajo de otra gente, porque por ahí hay uno que está bien largo, pero está bien bonito. Me pusieron lo de eh, la mansión de los... Girola. Girola. Es buena. Ok. Bien. Así... Esto tienen que usar simple past, past continuous o past perfect. Ustedes van a decidir cuál va mejor para la, para la oración. Así, our house last night. Vale, si dice last night, ¿qué debe de ser? Past parte. No, pasado. Continuous. It's past continuous. Our house last night while my sister... And I were picking up a pizza for dinner. No, es en pasado, simple. Es pas simple, simple pas. Simple. Broke into. Broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza. Porque esta está en pasado continuo. Entonces yeah. esta va en pasado simple. Ok, I guess we... Have left. 
has left. Has left. I guess yes. she has left. Had left the door unlocked because that's how the thief got into the house. Okay, now next. I had shopping. No, porque dice yesterday. So, si está diciendo un Shop. tiempo exacto. I was shopping. I was shopping. shopping. Ah, pero dice, and I lost my keys. Entonces puede ser el was continuo shopping. que ustedes dicen. Was I was shopping. I was shopping. I was shopping with my friends yesterday and I lost my keys. Okay. Luckily, I had given. Had given. Uh -huh. A friend, a copy of them, and she came over and let me into my apartment. Okay. I was driving around my friends all day on Sunday, and I and I Ran it out of gas on the freeway. I blau, was driving blau. and I ran and I, ran it out. out. Ah, no, ran, solo es ran. Ran out. Es an irregular. Es irregular. Yes. Okay. Yes. Luckily, I I had I had broke. It's it's in past run, not wrong. Out. Only past teacher. Eh, ah, sí. Permita. Run, run, run. Okay. Run, run, run. Okay. Luckily, I had brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Vamos a ver. Ustedes son buenos. Ok, ahora vamos a leerlo. ¿Quién me lee el número uno? Sí. Con todo y la respuesta correcta. Ok. A thief broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking, picking up a pizza for dinner. Excellent. Thank you. Now, number two. Me, I, Roxanne. I, okay, Roxanne. I guess we have left the door unlocked because what how the thief go into the house. Okay, that's how the thief. That's how the thief, thief. How the got thief. into the house. Okay. Nice. Now next. Me, Marixa. I shopped with some friends yesterday I, and I lost my key while shopping. I was shopping. Uh -huh. I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. Okay. Now, the next one. Me, teacher, Maritza. Okay, Maritza, go ahead. Looking, I have. I have hit a friend a uh, copy of thing and uh, she come over and let me into my apartment. Into my apartment. Excellent. Now the next one. Okay. Me. Okay. Luckily, I have brought my cell phone with me. So I no, 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 my eh, la for... number three, la que está arribita de... Oh, sorry, I was teacher. driving... I was driving around with friends all day on Sunday, and I ran out 
of gas station. I let me. No, of, of gas, of gas, on the freeway. On the freeway. O sea que se quedó no, sin gasolina, porque anduvo, anduvo yeah. fregando con los amigos y se le olvidó que el carro necesita gasolina. Yeah. Because um, the two, three, two, one next one was over the text, so I couldn't read it. Luckily, luckily, I had brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Okay. Okay. Bueno, con eso terminamos eh, lo que es el módulo, el, la sección 4. Y este ya queda lo que es ya para terminamos la otra semana no este lo que es la sección 5 y el examen final verdad hay un compañero de ustedes que ya terminó ya tiene el 100% ya solo nos va a estar acompañando por 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 venir a ayudarnos entonces ahora vamos con los verbos este una consulta van a querer que yo distribuya los verbos o cada quien se hace cargo de los verbos que le toquen que quiera hacer porque son somos 25 personas y estos son listados de 60 verbos. Nos pueden tocar, dije que usaran dos verbos cada uno, nos sobran. ¿Verdad? Nos sobrarían 10. ¿Se los voy distribuyendo o cada quien toma sus dos verbos? Cada quien, quizás. Cada quien. Vaya, pero entonces. Pero entonces se van a repetir. Exacto, Algunos. por eso te, lo, lo tendrían Mejor que decir. Distribuye. Mejor lo distribuyo, vaya. Sí, mejor usted. Pero Better pongan one, atención one. entonces. That's, pongan atención. That's only one. Pongan atención porque con eso vamos a estar trabajando de aquí hasta el final. O sea que siempre van a ocupar los mismos, ¿ok? Para no estar cambiando. A ver. Sí, todos tienen pasado participio. El you be and become. Zulma be Pérez. And break, be and be. Mm -hmm. break and bring. Break eh, and. Uh, okay. I, I have broken my left leg. Sí, pero permítanme que lo voy a poner aquí. Excelente. Vaya, Eliu, ya le dije. Zulma, Zulma, este, begin and break. Este, uh, don okay. Rafael. Eh, bring and build. Maritza. Buy and catch, Roxana, choose and come, eh, Soraya, cut and do, este, Sandra Patricia, drink and drive, eh, a ver. Antonio Villagrán, Eat and Feel, Marcos Fuentes, Fight and Find, Marvin Joseph, Fly and Forget, eh, Ciro Mira, Forgive and Get, Jessica Elizabeth, Give and go. Cesar Adonai, have and hear. Eh, Nady Ibis, heart and keep. 
Diego Anthony grow and no. Isaac Fermín. Yeah. Permítanme que los tengo que mover. Learn and live. No, permítanme. Sí, learn and live. Este, Perla. Lent and let. Eh, Bribes. Los and made. Rodrigo Daniel, Mint en Met, Mint en, en Mit, Ingrid Gisela, Pay en Put, Alejandra Elizabeth, Read en Run, eh, Mayra Portillo, Pay en Sí, eh, Roberto Josué, Sell en Sing, y permítanme. Ana María López, sit, este, sit and sleep, y Jaime, Jaime Barrera, speak and spend. Ya están todos, ¿verdad? ¿A alguien le faltó? ¿A alguien no le di verbo? Hello. Corazones preciosos. Yo anoté los no míos. Ya, ya todos, anoté los todos, míos, teacher. Todos ya todos tienen eh, los suyos. Sí, sí, si es que los tienen que anotar yes, porque yes, van a estar usando de aquí hasta que terminemos. Yes, <risa> ¿Verdad? Ahora, este, teacher, como ya los tienen bien. anotados, eh, ¿quieren que les vuelva a poner las fórmulas o creen que no se les olviden? Por sí, favor, pónganlas. Le vuelvo a poner la fórmula. Sí, vale, sí por porque favor, tienen por que favor. escribir. Póngala, por favor. Por favor tienen que escuché. escribir este. Tienen que escribir las oraciones en afirmativo, negativo e interrogativo. De esos verbos que les acabo de dar. Permítanme. Sí se mira, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, aquí están las afirmativas primero. Yo creo que con las afirmativas que les comparta, las demás son... No se ve porque hay algo... Tiene sombra me... gris. Ahorita ya. ¿Y hoy? ¿Sí se mira? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Vale, entonces, estas son las afirmativas. Acuérdense que para hacer la negativa, solo le ponen el not aquí. Y para hacer la pregunta, solo pasan el have de aquí para acá. O sea, va primero el have, después el sujeto, después el pasado participio y el complemento. que con el afirmativo es más fácil eh, lo demás así es afirmativo el negativo solo pone not después del have y para el interrogativo el have va antes del sujeto y lo demás se escribe igual y le ponen la cuestión marca al final acuérdense que ocupan el pasado participio de los verbos el que era be sería been y become porque es become became become ¿Cuánto cree que necesitan para hacer las seis oraciones? Bueno, me avisan cuando estén listos Acuérdense de hacer este, los complementos de acuerdo al verbo que están ocupando, ¿verdad? Porque no me van a poner que se comieron un zapato.
que por favor no me olvide que se les tenga que hablar porque yo no sé qué se van a hacer en esta clase. Miren, hoy hice la, la clase perfecta con los chicotes, no tuve problemas con el audio. Me dio resultado lo que yo dije con respecto a, o sea, que hoy le estoy haciendo hasta de técnica. ¿sí? Eh, puse, puse, ¿cómo se llama? Earphones en ambos, tanto en la computadora como en el celular. Hoy no me dio ningún eco. Evité los ecos y el lag. Have you finished? Not yet. Los que no han mandado todavía lo de sus historias, lo pueden mandar todavía. Ok, I am ready. Ready? Yes. Okay. Read me your affirmative sentence, just the affirmative. Yes, I have became a good person. I have became a good person. No, sería I had become. Es became, be, become, became, become. El pasado participio es become otra vez. I become. Uh -huh. I had become a good person. Okay. Negative. Now, just choose one of your classmates and ask to make the negative or the interrogative of your affirmative sentence. Rafael. Son Rafa. I'm not ready right now. No, pero como él ya la hizo, usted solo tiene que eh, transformar la que él ya hizo en lo que le va a pedir. Oh, sorry. Uh, repeat again, please. Become a good person. Ajá. ¿Y la quiere negativa o interrogativa? Negativa. Ok. Él dice, I have become a good person. ¿Cómo sería en negativo? I had, I, I haven't uh, become, become a good person. Excellent, thank you. Vaya, hoy usted escoja a alguien más que haga la interrogativa de esa misma oración. Nady. Nady. Repeat, please. <laughs> I haven't become a good person. good person. Make it interrogative, please. Interrogative. Mm -hmm. um, haven't had had I had I had had I. Become a full person. 
Excellent. Thank you very much. Vale, ¿Se dan cuenta? Les he dicho que hagan ustedes las, las tres, los tres tipos de oraciones porque ustedes tienen que verificar si su compañero lo está haciendo bien. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿está de acuerdo este, con cómo le hicieron los, las oraciones? Yes, I, I, I agree. Have you, you agree. Become, have you become a good person? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I wrote, why have you become a good person? Sí, pero esa es WH question word. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? E e ella le hizo y la yes no question. That's good. How do you become a good person? I, I haven't become a good person. Uh -huh. we're, we're excellent. Excellent. Yes. Acuérdense que este, en, en las interrogativas, la más fácil de hacer es la yes no question. Pero esa es, sirve de base para hacer cualquier otro tipo de, de WH question. ¿Alguien más que haya terminado? Y teacher. Y teacher. Eh, Sandra en Roxana. O yo, Sandra. Sandra. Ok, I... Sandra, eh, eh, your affirmative sentence, please. Or do you want to make the negative? Eh, negative. Ok, do the negative. I hadn't drawn in the last weekend. You hadn't? I hadn't drawn. In the last weekend. Okay, what, 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 what? Drunk, 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 drunk. Drink, ah, drink, drunk, drunk, drunk. Mm -hmm. I hadn't drunk last weekend, okay? Está bueno que no haya tomado. Ajá. <laughs> um, now, um, uh, choose one of your classmates and ask uh, him or her to make a... Uh, Either the affirmative or the interrogative. Um, Jaime Barrera. Jaime Barrera. Jaime, are you there? Jaime. Miren, dos ya se salieron. No querían hacer el, 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 el ejercicio. <laughs> No está Jaime. ¿Qué eh, tal si escoge a alguien más? Eh, quiero ver. Isat. Por ahí veo un Isat. Quiero ver. Oh, Isat, ¿todavía está? Isat Fermín. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ve, eh, oh. haga, ¿Cuál quiere que le haga? ¿Afirmativa o interrogativa? Afirmativa. Okay. La oración que dijo la compañera en afirmativa, por favor. Can you repeat me, please? <laughs> I hadn't drunk in the last weekend. She hadn't drunk the last weekend. I hadn't. <laughs> She hadn't. But you had. <laughs> Okay. He had drunk last weekend. Okay. He had drunk last weekend. Okay. Now choose another one to make it interrogative. Mi teacher, Marco. Okay, Marco. Una peculiaridad con respecto a, a, las, a las preguntas con I y con you. Solo una peculiaridad. Normalmente hacemos que afirmativa hay, negativa hay, interrogativa hay. Pero debería de ser interrogativa you. Yeah, ¿Por qué? In this case, in this case, Porque it, usted yeah. estaría preguntando a alguien si bebió o no bebió. No está preguntándose a usted mismo. ¿Ok? Yeah, okay. Entonces, right. ya, sea que, ya sea que haga la, a, a, afirma, a, la interrogativa con I o con you, pero para mí lo ideal sería you. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Uh, why hadn't you drunk in the last weekend? 
Ajá. Esa pregunta va para usted. ¿Por qué es que no, ¿por qué es que no bebió, hija? Todavía no me han pagado. I don't have money. Se aceptan invitaciones. Ok. Now, someone else? Ah, ¿Usted está de acuerdo con cómo le hicieron las oraciones de los compañeros? Yes. Ok. Great job. Now, someone else? ¿Alguien que ya terminó? Yes, me. me. Ok, me go ahead. Yeah. No. ¿Usted okay. decide cuál de las tres dice? Um, impossible. Ok, uh, afírmate. Ok. Yes, she has chosen a beautiful dress for her wedding. For her wedding. 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 <coughs> for her wedding. Uh -huh. Is this affirmative? Uh -huh. And maybe... Escoja, escoja quien quiere que se la haga, ya sea negativa o, o interrogativa. Uh, maybe... In negative, please, please, uh, repeat, please. Yes, sure. She has chosen a beautiful dress for her wedding. And in negative. In negative? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, has she, has, has negative. she. Negative, negative. Uh, sorry. Uh, she, she has not, she sent a beautiful dress uh, with him? For her wedding, for her wedding. For, for her wedding. Excellent. Now, choose another one to make it interrogative. Rafael, can no, you ella, help? Ella, us? ella dijo uno. Oh, Antonio? Jessica. Antonio o Don Ciro. Don Ciro, Don Ciro. Don Ciro, mira, are you there? How you yes. choose every, every tool? No, it had she, had she chosen. Why? Had she choose chosen. A, a beautiful dress. Dress for weather. For her wedding. For her weather, okay? Okay, excellent. Now, the rest, los, los demás, como ya es la hora, eh, y para mañana, eh, con lo que tenemos ahorita, creo que vamos a terminar antes de la hora eh, el, con, los, con los que ya mandaron sus historias. Entonces, este, ustedes terminen de hacer las oraciones, los que quedaron pendientes, las oraciones con sus verbos, y este, mañana con el tiempo que nos va a sobrar, vamos a continuar con el ejercicio. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ok. okay. Sí. Es una forma okay. de que ustedes hagan sus propias oraciones y de que practiquen también eh, hablar. Dios que los bendiga. Amén. Amén. Nice. Nice. Amén. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.